Hello Strat fans, it's me Colonel Strat, the Strat Extraordinaire here, here with another tactic, and now this one's more of explaining a mechanic, but it could still be used to your benefit, and if you recruit to your, if you use your, if you use tactical recruiting, and get the right, the right units for the different situations, it'll all come in your favor. So this all has to do with resistances. Now, for what you see I have here, I have these guys, or these the Plague Bears of Nurgle are able to do magical attacks. Most demon units or high-end um, mortal units will have a magical attack buff on their melee attack. Now what does this mean? This means that their magical units will be able to go right through that are protected from regular physical attacks. So what does that mean? That means they'll go right through this resistance buff here. So a, a physical resist means nothing to, the, to this button right here. This goes right through all of that. So um, we're going up against forces like these savage orcs here that only have physical resist. Now, granted, they have a huge physical resist buff. That means 25% of all physical of all of all physical damage, non-magical attacks are going to be absorbed by the unit. So that means when fighting them conventionally without magical units, you're going to be you're going to have to fight them 25% as hard to take them out. They have this frenzy that makes them tougher to, t to take out. But they don't have any armor. They don't have anything to back up. So they they have insane amount. They have insanely low amount of armor. So they suffer a whole lot if you can get past their 25% physical resist buff. And that's where this comes in. I'm going to show you. I'm going to demonstrate by comparing all of these to fight one another. I didn't want to add a lord, but it made me add it. So, so it's whatever. Let's speed it up. All right. Well, now once they get, um, once they fight, um, you're going to notice that the uh, the savage orcs aren't going to do as much damage as our plague bearers are. Plus, we can do these little cheeky buffs as well, and we can do some cheeky. Um, healing as well as Nurgle, but that's besides the point. But already, you see these Savage Orcs have taken a whole lot more damage than our, than our Plague Bearers. Because they have no protection. They have no protection whatsoever. Ah uh, yes, I just can't can't help myself from doing from doing a slime trail. But oh, but we didn't really need it because you know our guys are able to kick, kick their butt without it. We still have a thousand more points because we're just we're able to go right through them. It doesn't matter what they have because our magical attacks go right through their physical buff, and then they have no armor to protect themselves. So it doesn't even matter if we have. Um, any armor piercing damage, we're still going to do a whole bunch of damage to them more than they can do to, do to us because we block 20% of their damage. So this one right here is a hard fight and like I said it, it's pretty much easy peasy. So they're, they're going to route before us even though we are losing, we are at half strength, they're at you know 25% strength. We're both tier 2 units, so we're equally matched, we should be, but they're just taking too, many, too much damage. So, again, it's, it's, not, it's not that much of a buff, of a debuff, but it's, it's enough that, uh, um, you know, it's enough that can, uh, you know, it's not that much of a change, but it's enough that it can cause you to, to tip the balance of power in your scale. Like, you know, it's not going to save the whole of the unit because there's still going to be some damage that gets through. But the, the, the fact that they have no protection now because of our, our Nurgle units fighting, fighting them. And this help, happens with all demon units. Whether it be, you know, it works better with, the, with Nurgle or Korn because they have higher damage values. But, um, you know, they can get right through. You know, any amount of damage will get right through it as long as it's magical damage. If it, if it has this sign, this symbol, then you know that it's going to do well against these guys. And there we go. 
and you know we lost probably about half health of our guys now we did do a little bit of cheeky healing so it probably would have been closer to half for these other guys but still we, we did more damage to them than they did to us so um, and we took less we were able to get through their, their damage uh, well through their their physical buff because it just negates it entirely so that's one way to deal with um, to deal with units with high physical resist because they usually don't have any armor accompanying them or if they do it's very low armor um, so now I've, that I've showed you how to counter physical resist I'm gonna, now we'll, I'll show you how to counter magical attacks all right and now now to show you how to deal with magic damage you got to have magic resist now that brings me back to my favorite <coughs> faction my favorite race the dwarves now every dwarf unit has a high magic a spell resist that's what it's called spell resist but it doesn't tell you that it also negates any bonuses that enemies have from having magical attacks so magical attacks don't just give them like you know a way to get through an enemy shield it also um, gives them a, a slight buff to their to their weapon strength um, to get them through as well um, so even though it doesn't tell you that it does have a buff against po folks that have um, like a, uh, a, a physical resist but if you have spell resist that reduces that damage value um, and it reduces their melee attack too so um, it, again the, the game doesn't tell you this but uh, that's what happens behind the scenes so like the enemy just doesn't it, it's a way for you to level the playing field a little bit by having that spell resist so that you're able to negate um, their their chance of getting through so this is their only chance of getting through so you bring this and you keep them from getting through so like dwarves are the bane of all spell casters because it doesn't just block like magical attacks here it also reduces the effectiveness of enemy like spells like they like these spells it reduces their damage value by that percent that's what it does as a hard but uh, i have seen how it, it makes units like these forsaken of zinch which are tier three pretty good um not as good against um these guys because they have that spell resist um, they do also have other things like 100 armor and all that, but the, the the fact that they don't have a physical resist buff means that they have to get through the regular armor with regular um, weapon damage. So they don't do as hot. So let's show you this in action now. And I'm going to send um, Ground Brindle up and then Forsaken of Zinch. We're going to engage them. Now again, um, the thing you'll see is is just how it, it it how it reflects spells. So like um, I think he'll he'll probably cast something. They usually do. I'm, I make sure that they cast something on my guys like warp flame or even just his basic attack. Um, and it they'll take damage, but they won't take as much as they would, you know. Um, so again, that's that's the that's the beauty of it is that any spell based faction like a demon faction or any chaos faction that relies on it is just not going to going to do as hot because they're a whole ace in the hole that will for the um, magic factions is having that magic damage now see did do a little bit of damage but not a whole lot and they're doing less damage overall than our guys are because they started with a little with a small a little bit smaller health pool but their barrier was drained immediately as well so um, Again, they just, they do so much better. Alright, Grown Brindle, we're just going to have you pop all your, all your passives. Okay, and like I said, they just, they're doing so much better because they just, they can't get through. That little bonus they get from their magical attacks is not applying to our dwarves at all. Our dwarves are able to negate it, level the playing field, and just, uh, you know, have they have to go through their armor, which is, they don't, they are not built for that. Most magical units, um, they have a little, they have a little bit of armor piercing, but they don't have a lot in the early game. Until you get to, like, I don't know, maybe the elves with their, um, Sisters of Avalon. Um, now, with, uh, there is a third stat called Missile Resist that I want to talk about real quick. There we go. Exhibit B. <laughs> Um, we we out we outdid them, even though these guys are worth a hundred more points than these than these longbeards. They're able to take care of them because they don't have that bonus from their magical attack. But anyway, there is a third stat called missile resist, 
Missile Resist is the only one that's a hard counter. Physical and, and magical depend on a unit's different stats for their melee attack, but Missile Resist is a hard counter to all, to all ranged. Now, if you have a unit with some Missile Resist and some, um, what's the word I'm looking for? With some Missile Resist and some Physical Resist, you have to add the Physical Resist buff into the, the Missile Resist, and that only counts for non-magical missiles. So non-magical missile, missiles um, would be anything that is not a um, archer or, or, or um, artillery piece that does not have magical ammunition. Um, so let's say you're going up against um, Sisters of Avalon, of course, that have magical ammunition. So their magical ammunition buff is not going to count if you have um, magic resist. But, um, and if you have um, a bunch of physical resist, it's going to punch through that physical resist and make just a flat, it will just be the flat missile resist. But if it's going up against any other unit, like any other bow unit or any other or gunpowder unit that is not a magic missile, then you add, like, let's say you have 20% physical resist, 15% missile resist. You add that into 35 for anything non-magical missile. Get it? I know it's a little confusing, but uh, it, can, it can help you turn the tide of battle um, if you bring the right units. Like, if you bring units that have physical resist against units that do physical damage, you're going you're gonna to be a lot better. You're going to be able to uh, negate most of that damage because it's a hard percent. Whereas armor is more of like a chance it's a percent chance and it's more for missile fire than it is melee even though it does say melee attacks as well it's more for missile fire that negates the armor so um i hope you guys enjoyed this little tactic this little um show of stats and how to manipulate them and use them to your advantage and uh you know let me know how i'm, how I'm doing of course and uh, i appreciate your time and remember to keep it strategic come on